Yogesh Agarwal and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure your first page ranker that is this is a one-time setup and uh, I will show you how to create a Google project ID enable YouTube API's and how to add your channel in our system okay so let's start so after you log in just click on I accept here click on allow and now you are in the dashboard uh, just go to settings go to google plus credentials here just click on need help and uh, you will get this page and in this page just right click on this link click on open link in new tab if you are logged in into your gmail account this will automatically open or else uh, like you can create a gmail account or else you can log in into your gmail account and then open this link so once this is done this is your google uh, like google console and here we will be creating a project and enabling youtube api so what i'll do is i'll just click on this small arrow I'll click on new project. I'll give a name demo project for first page and I'll click on create. It will take few seconds to create the project. okay so now the project has been created so just click on the same arrow again and uh, select your project so this is our newly created projects demo project for first page ranker and here first step is to go to credentials go to OAuth consent screen just give some name here I'll just uh, type as demo1 and in the authorized domains type as aisoftllc.com and make sure you press the enter button so once you do this it will come here like this if you don't do this this will not work and once this is done click on save now here you need to click on this big blue button and you need to click on OAuth client id click on web application just put in some name here in in the authorized redirect uris just copy this link the one which we have given here copy text go here paste it and once you are done copying and pasting make sure you press the enter button again so now this has been added here click on create and now you will get your client id and the secret key so click on this button go to the page go here click on paste make sure there are no blank or empty space and uh, now we need to copy paste our secret client secret copy it and then paste it here and then click on save so right now we have created a Google project and we have added the credentials in our system. And now the last and most important part is to enable the YouTube API. So I'll go to the same page here. I'll go to the library. I'll, I'll type in YouTube. You will get all these options. So you need to click on YouTube data API v3. and click on enable button so now we have our youtube 
API enabled for that particular project and the product project's credential has been already added to my first page ranker account so now you are good to go so now let me show you how to add your youtube channel Let's click on save okay. so, later. so i'll go to the settings i'll go to the accounts i'll click on add channel I'll click on this button authorize access I'll select my Gmail account here you will get this screen this has been recently added into uh, like this has been recently updated in Google console so what you need to do is to click on the small button advanced that is the link and then click on go to asoftllc.com the reason why this is coming is that we have just created a new project and we have updated the details in in the account so this app isn't verified verification is required only for a large scale and public facing app so you are getting this app just for your use like that is only you are the only person who is using it so verification is not necessary so click on go to asoftllc.com so once you do this you will get the permission dialog just click on allow click on allow that's it you have added your channel to first page franker so now you're all ready and set to go and rank your videos so this you can add as many channels as you want according to your subscription level but the google project id that part is only a one timer you only need to create one project and add those credentials in our system and once you are done you can add as many youtube channels as you want one more last thing please make sure to use your dummy channel first do not use your main channel in the first try because like you need to get used to how the system works and all those things and please do not abuse or do not create more than 20 event at once in a single go so please try it in your dummy channel first once everything works out once you are comfortable with the system then move to your main channel because if you abuse the system they are going to suspend your channel and i'm not sure if there is any way to retrieve it back so please use it sensibly and please use a bit of common sense here okay because a lot of people abuse the system and get their channels suspended so whatever you do you are responsible for your actions thank you guys